I have some really sad news to report. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Unfortunately, we lost a fellow motovlogger, fellow motorcycle enthusiast, Annette Carrion. She died on March 31st, about 10.30 a.m. She was riding her 2015 Triumph Street Triple on Ortega Highway in California. And according to reports, uh, she was speeding, trying to speed around a corner, doing anywhere from 70 to 80 miles per hour. And she didn't make the turn, lost control of her bike, and was ejected from her bike uh, over a 50-foot cliff. And she fell to her death and died instantly. Uh, just very, very sad to hear. I didn't know of her. I only learned of her from you guys leaving a comment in one of my recent videos. And, uh, man, I after reading the report, then I you know, I watched several of her videos. And it's, it's just very, very unfortunate and sad. She had such a beautiful spirit about her. Uh, she was, she loved motorcycles, so, and she also was helping to motivate other people, particularly women, to get into motorcycle riding, and I, I thought that was really beautiful of her. She just seemed like to be a, a really beautiful person. It's just really, so, really, really sad to hear of, of her death, and it's, it's really sad to hear of anybody that dies, you know, on a motorcycle, um, just because, you know, motorcycles get demonized the first thing people want to say uh, how dangerous a motorcycle is it's it's not necess it's not the motorcycle guys it's it's the motorcycle rider you know we put ourselves into to danger by riding aggressively out here on the streets you know I, you know I, I'm not going to be a hypocrite here and tell you that I, I'm an angel out here on the streets but I you know I no longer you know ride aggressively in the corners out here on the street but, you know, when I bought my CBR 600 RR, I was like a lot of you guys, you know, I was, you know, trying to do some Street Rossi action out here, which you've seen maybe in earlier videos. And, uh, but I learned real quickly after, hit, you know, coming across some gravel and having some near slide outs here and there that these roads are not to be treated as a track. You have aggressive riders out here. You have animals that run across the street, which I've had a couple of times with animals running across the street, gravel everywhere. Just uh, and you have trees, poles, everything. So if you lose control of your bike and you're ejected, you end up in a, a tree pole and uh, be uh, severely injured or killed. Uh, it's just not worth it out here. And it doesn't. A lot of people try to say, "Oh, you sh you know, it's all about your skill level. Skill level only will take you so far, guys. Uh, a lot of things are out of our hands. Like I said, you know, road debris." Uh, you have erratic dr uh, car drivers out there. It's just a really in danger, a really dangerous environment to ride aggressively. That type of, of riding should be uh, relegated to a track, you know, where it belongs in a much safer environment. So that if you do lose control of your bike and low side or high side, you have a bailout area. There's no cars to worry about, or poles, or trees, or anything. Much safer environment. Although I know it's a very expensive hobby, it can be anywhere from 100 to 200 plus dollars for a track session. It's really not something that most of us can do every day, I mean, unless you're filthy rich. So that's why a lot of people take to the streets out here on these, these sport bikes and, and ride aggressively. But it's really, it's not, it's not a smart idea, guys. It really isn't. Um, but I tell you guys, if you want to get into a facet of motorcycle riding, that is fairly inexpensive and really fun, you might want to think about getting into trail riding, riding off-road, getting you a, a, an enduro bike or dual sport. I tell you, this is my, I love this motorcycle. This is my uh, favorite thing to do is to go ride off-road on trails in the woods. Uh, it's, it's very fun and you're not, you don't have to go, you don't go fast. And it's, uh, and you, but you have a good time. And it builds skill, a, cardio, a great cardio workout. Um, I mean, how many, how often do you hear people dying on their, uh, dirt bike on the trails out there? It's not very often. I mean, you can get hurt like with, you know, anything else in life. Uh, you know, you're really, you're not safe in life period guys. I know a lot of you guys 
think you know motorcycles are so dangerous but you can get hurt or, or killed doing anything you can just be sitting here watching this video and get struck with a brain aneurysm a, a heart attack stroke whatever you know my brother my late brother he rode motorcycles from the age of seven years old to 30 years old and he was a very highly skilled rider he he was the ghost rider of cleveland ohio back in the day he used to do 100 mile per hour wheelies he used to speed around corners. He did all the street Rossy stuff and half the time didn't wear gear. Uh, one time at CBR 900 double R, uh, his engine seized up on him and he got bucked off doing like triple digit speeds. And he walked away without a scratch. The guy never got hurt on a motorcycle, but at age 30 years old while laying down, he died of a brain aneurysm. So <laughs> you're not safe at all. I know a lot of us think we're safe and our houses are, are doing safe activities, but believe me, you are never safe. So for those of you that want to ride a motorcycle, don't be scared off because if you hear of these accidents that take place out there, um, you know, if you ride defensively and you ride like you, you know, don't ride aggressively out here on the streets, you know, you, you'll be fine out here. Or like I said, if you want to take cars out of the equation where it's a much safer environment, uh, get into track riding only. There's a lot of track only riders out there or get into enduro or dirt bike riding, trail riding. Um, it's, really, it's a lot safer than riding on the street. But on the street, like I said, there's ways to reduce your risk. Uh, go ride out in, in uh, low traffic areas. That's why often you see me riding out in the country. You don't see me riding with a lot of traffic that often. Uh, you know, don't ride too aggressive. You see, I don't I don't speed around corners anymore. I learned my lesson early on that. You know, I never crashed, but like I said, a couple of slide outs put it put that fear into my mind, realizing how stupid it is to ride aggressively around corners. You know, I'll do a little speed burst here and there, which is probably not uh, it's not the safest thing to do. But uh, you know, there's you know, like I said, it just depends on what it, it's all. Your life is in your hands, guys. You know, but don't be scared, scared off from motorcycles. Just like I tell you guys, anything can happen to you at any time. Be grateful for another day. You know, before I ride, I always pray to God and ask him. And I put my life in his hands, ask him to protect me. And I just thank God for another day that I wake up. Uh, you know, I lost my my father when I was four and a half years old. My brother died at 30 years old. My mom, she got strangled by some crazy maniac in her house, guys. Like I said, she's in the safety. She thought she's in the safety of her home and, and some guy busted in there and she got strangled and left for dead. And she had to, they said that she'd be, uh, she'd be in a nursing home for the rest of her life. And she was only like 34 or five or something like that at the time. Uh, and they said she had brain damage and she overcame the odds. Uh, thank God. It was a miracle. She rehabilitated. She actually even went on to college and got graduated as a nurse. And she now she's a semi-retired nurse. Um, it was an absolute miracle. But tragedy can happen at any time, man. Just be grateful, like I tell you guys, for another day. Get out there. Live up. Live it up. You know, like I said, don't fear riding a motorcycle um, or whatever you want to do in life. Just get out there. Do it. Have a good time. Have some sense about it, though. And, uh, and you'll be okay, but uh, don't fear. Don't go through life fearing that uh, if you ride a motorcycle, you can get hurt or whatever. You know, like I said, it's watching this video, something can happen to you right now. You never know. But anyways, guys, um, just thought I'd share that news with you. It's just so sad. Send prayers out to Ned Carrion's family. Uh, very sad to, you know. To lose a fellow motovlogger and fellow motorcycle enthusiast, just so sad. But uh, that's life, man. Life is crazy, and I've experienced it firsthand with my the tragedies in my family as well. But uh, appreciate all you guys. For those of you guys who want to get my gear, my helmets, camel pants, leather jackets, gloves, camera gear, everything. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear. And those are current links to all of my gear. And for those of you who want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And there's a bunch of playlists there with my over 1,100 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through them and find what you're looking for. 
Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends, guys. I wish you guys all the best of luck. Hey, subscribe to my All One Motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. It showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything bug out moto. As a courtesy I included two video playlists, one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist. Hey. Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.